So if any social nights are uh, if any social nights are out, I've had a f long day. Played badminton. I'm very f good at badminton. Badminton. It I, it's actually called badminton. I think badminton. Badminton. Yo, what's good, you guys? So today we're gonna be doing four temperaments correlation to enneagram subtypes. Now before we start, first we need to acknowledge one thing, important thing, which is. The list can be quite flexible, right? If you guys think you maybe something should be added, something should be removed, comment down below. Sexual one, the ass cheek taker, the person that you probably should avoid if you have a sister. Now, with someone like that, obviously, the blueprinted example of choleric dominant, uh, literally put in the person. That's what it is. Extremely impatient, aggressive, rigid, right, unbending, intolerant, inflexible, non-compromising, just result oriented to the. Core. This is the blueprint of choleric dom. Because of how intense the subtype is, it's a bit difficult for me to really entertain much other than possibly choleric melancholic. Choleric phlegmatic is way too calm for that. With social one, maybe choleric melancholic is what I'm thinking. I feel like choleric dominant is way too f***ing spurgy for the more controlled, for the more kind of, again, a f type very focused on control, much more stoic, more, more inexpressive. Uh, and more intellectual. Now, with self-preservation one, I'm thinking choler uh, melancholic choleric, maybe. Choleric melancholic, maybe. Something along those lines. Obviously, you don't want too much of a spurg, right? Then we have sexual two, which would be sanguine choleric, and in my opinion, probably even sanguine dominant. Now, obviously, there are some people who kind of think this type can be choleric first. Uh, choleric sanguine but the reality is choleric sanguine is still choleric okay it's not like it's not suddenly a f***ing sanguine type it is choleric type with a blend of sanguine so there is that kind of energy to it then we have social too which i think is going to be a surprise to many people here i think you know on pdb i've noticed the consensus is sanguine choleric and i'm like okay so it's supposed to be the same temperament that the more wild and kind of seductive playful sexual two that doesn't really make sense if you look at the examples of social twos they're not really that way the problem here is people kind of forget social two is much more rigid social two is much more organized social two is much more hypercritical of other people and much more demanding so this type is not sanguine first now the possibilities would be something like choleric sanguine again that makes sense because it's choleric first and then you have choleric melancholic, I think both are possible. Sanguine first for social two, I think is a bit of a stretch. Now, self-preservation two, I would say sanguine phlegmatic and maybe sanguine dominant, those are my guesses. Now, social three, I would probably make uh, choleric sanguine and choleric dominant. I don't see how this type would be choleric phlegmatic, for, 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 for instance, it's it's... I'm not sure how that would work, how phlegmatic traits would appear with the social three. Again, with the most ambitious three core here, right? Self-preservation three, I have as choleric phlegmatic, right? And then I have choleric melancholic, it may be possible. And sexual three, I have sanguine melancholic. I'm not sure about the rest. Now, sexual four would be melancholic choleric, which is probably the archetype. But it also would be now, I, I again, it might be a f***ing hot take, but possibly melancholic sanguine. I don't know, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Then we have self-preservation four, which I would probably say would be melancholic dominant and maybe melancholic phlegmatic. Social four, melancholic sanguine, maybe melancholic dominant. Maybe melancholic phlegmatic. Again, there is some variety here. I don't know as much about social force. Haven't read as much about this type. Self-preservation five would be phlegmatic melancholic and melancholic phlegmatic. Sexual five, maybe melancholic dominant and melancholic phlegmatic. Melancholic choleric. That don't make any fucking sense to me. That just don't make any fucking sense. And that's a problem. <sighs> There is, guys. That's it for me. I'm out. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Self-preservation six 
is going to be phlegmatic melancholic and melancholic phlegmatic. Social six is going to be melancholic, maybe melancholic phlegmatic and melancholic choleric seems like a very odd one out because if you have the temperament that is melancholic choleric, why the f*** are you not sexual six? That's like saying I'm a sexual six in other words. Sexual six, which is the Chadwick, Big Daddy Dom, right, neo-Nazi, aka melancholic choleric surf preservation seven i would say sanguine choleric being the archetype okay i would say also choleric sanguine why not i've had some friends tell me even we should consider sanguine phlegmatic now there was a bit of a pushback on my side it's a bit of a weird case here but i'm open if any of you guys can explain sanguine uh, phlegmatic as a surf preservation seven go ahead sexual seven i think is going to be blueprinted sanguine dominant <laughs> Is it that pure, pure sanguine, right? Or I think also sanguine melancholic. I think that is possible. And then we have social seven, which would be sanguine phlegmatic. And then an example of this temperament, which is probably, you all know this individual, Jack Oliver from WSS. I think he seems like an obvious uh, sanguine phlegmatic. Maybe sanguine melancholic, I don't know, right? I'm thinking about that, but considering it. Now with sexual eight, we have choleric sanguine and choleric dominant. Socially, we have choleric sanguine, choleric dominant. People will be like, well, what about choleric phlegmatic? A bit sassy. To me, it feels like a bit sassy because I feel like people are misunderstanding the choleric phlegmatic temperament a bit here, okay? Because we type SP8 as that, very choleric phlegmatic. We type self-preservation three as this temperament. So, social aid being so socially oriented, so people oriented, again, can be life of the party and kind of a person who's very charming, charismatic, inspires people, knows how to inspire them and motivate them and stuff like that. Uh, the energy level of this type is very high. It is considered the most action oriented aid. But you get the point. So, I, I feel like many people, what they consider to be choleric phlegmatic is just choleric sanguine, you know? Because choleric sanguine can also be kind of easy going, not take shit too seriously, kind of like that, right? Like they, they can have their moments when they're this way. Choleric phlegmatic is, is going to be a bit different. There's a different different side to it. But yeah, that's that's my that's my two cents. And surf preservation aid, I would uh, say yes, blueprinted choleric phlegmatic, you know, they tend to be a bit more stoic. They tend to be more inexpressive. They tend to be a bit more calm. Again, there's that kind of more calm, bear-like energy. Alternatively, we would have choleric dominant. I could see that uh, also being a possibility. Self-preservation nine would be phlegmatic choleric and maybe phlegmatic dominant. Social nine would be phlegmatic sanguine. So if any social nines are uh, If any of the social nines are well, I've had a long day. Played badminton. I'm very good at badminton. Badminton. It, I, it's actually called badminton. I think badminton, badminton. Sexual nine, phlegmatic melancholic, and maybe phlegmatic dominant. I don't fucking know, okay? I'm out. Bye. Ciao. I'm bouncing.